Good morning guys, this is Jim. Um, I just thought I'd show some of what I'm designing here. This is for the tow boat. Uh, it's a set of stairs to uh, get up to the uh, wheelhouse. I'm just trying to add a little more detail to different things and this is one of my uh, goals to, that I had with 3D printing. This is going to be printed on my uh, uh, Monoprice Select Mini and I'll print them out of gray PLA and then I'll uh, put some yellow paint on the treads like a warning to, to get a little bit of, to make it stand out. But that's, uh, this is something I probably spent an hour or so working on so far. It's not terribly efficient if you look down here in the timeline and sorry about the, I don't know how to do a capture, but I hope this turns out okay. But there's the timeline you can see. Uh, it's not terribly efficient. I know the guys that are better at this program would uh, been able to do this a lot easier than I did, but uh, so I uh, extruded the, the steps first and repeated that, or uh, did a rectangular pattern along a line, which was that the slope of the stairs. And then uh, extruded different things, mirrored uh, from one side to the other, the handrails. Uh, I had to create an offset plane so that they land in the center of that, uh, the rail or whatever that's called, the vertical part of the stair. And, uh, but that's it. I'm about to, to print another test. I've got a couple pieces here I'll try and show you. And again, sorry about the handheld shaky. But uh, so over here, I'll let me show it to you this way. There's my first sample. It's printing this way on the, the printer. And uh, so I'm not sure. It's, it's going to have to bridge across here, which I think it'll do it okay because that's all pretty close together. And then I haven't printed, haven't printed the version with the handrail yet, so I'm not sure how that'll turn out. Might have to do that separately and then glue it to the steps after it's all done. But then it'll go back here, underneath of there. I'll probably cut a hole through this uh, this top lid area or or roof, and then run the steps up through that with the handrails and all that. But uh, that's the plan. Just uh, I thought I thought this was pretty cool. This is one of those things that I. I would have trouble making this. I mean, you could scratch that out of balsa and stuff and wire and all that, but uh, and I I don't mind doing that either. But I'm just still the printers are new enough, and it's kind of fun messing with it. And I really enjoy actually I, I it's a love hate thing with this Fusion 360 is what I'm using here, and I like doing a design where I can uh, do the design, print something, and have it uh, you know end up with something like this, uh, which um, once I get a little better at fusion, uh, this will be much quicker for me uh, because I'm still at a stage where I would call myself a, a complete uh, noob doing this kind of thing. And I pull my hair out once in a while. These uh, The steps design has gone pretty well, actually. I haven't had too much trouble with it. Uh, I know there are things I wish I understood better and could do better, but uh, it's working out okay. Um, fusion 360 is... Uh, I started out with, oh shoot, they have another program uh, like Easy Sketch or Sketch, I forget what the name of it is. Um, if you're searching for any of this stuff, I'm, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, it had lots of limitations and didn't have nearly the robust uh, um, feel of Fusion 360. It's free for hobbyists, you got to register it, and it's like an annual uh, free subscription or whatever you want to call it but uh, that's what I'm up to see you next time